What's good, YouTube family? You know what time it is. It's your boy, Make It Happen, right here on the Make It Happen channel, where reaction is life, and life is reaction. My man, Toby Montgomery, asked me to do the Eminem rap guide can can k a a n remix i can't pronounce that y'all let me know how it's pronounced in the comment section please man but anyways i've heard the eminem rap god version but i have yet to hear this one so without further ado and like i always do about this time let me go and throw on the reaction switch which can only be found right here on the make it happen channel and let's proceed to do this shall we I can tell from the uh, the starting gate, I don't think that's him in Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, man, that that might be neck and neck with Eminem, man. Eminem, when he made this song, I think he had a lot of people, like, there's probably a lot of responses to this, like, more than I actually know. I know UGK tried to go, you know, at him with the rap devil. K Reno, I know he obviously, you know, he's made some diss tracks towards him. I think he might have made one diss track, but there might be more, like, if there's any more diss tracks from K Reno towards Eminem, y'all let me know in the comments section. But the reason I say I, I kind of figured this wasn't Eminem is because normally when I see Eminem's name and the title of his song and remix, I usually uh, am led to believe that it's like his song with a different beat to it. So I kind of see it's not Eminem. It's sort of somebody like going up against him. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the video. <laughs> I'm a surgeon with words in. He said, if I give you a dirt nap, man, he's going off. <laughs> I can't like photographically, you know, memorize what he's saying, man. But, you know, that's with Eminem and anybody that raps like super fast, like Twister. You ain't, you know, sit, you ain't, you ain't going to sit there and be able to reminisce over what they just said. You know what I'm saying? But you, you kind of catch it within that split second. So, you know, it's something you had to go back and just listen to over and over. That's what I try to get across to people man it's like sometimes i gotta go back and listen to these songs over and over to decipher like like if you read any type of book like the bible or anything you you read it when you were younger you didn't really catch on to something but if you read it like when you're 24 years old compared to when you was like 15 years old you, you're gonna catch some different meanings and something's gonna hit you more than the like the other verse did you know what i'm saying but anyways i'm gonna go and get back into the video I'm 
My mind never gets operation for perpetual question with this secretion to ask it. Usually it's a very vicious vision. What reward should be me yet and yet the day I got you with a telephone? Don't you get decided what I do with a pen and I bet you trip and take me out a better turn of a nigga got a friend. Bow to the spiritual figure like Pope Francis. Take it to the sick and the southern mouth of beating up and it over the pool like a pedophilic priest. Cheers, you're the sinister case. No, I'm a pharaoh that's part of Egyptian religion. And then when rumors begin to accept Christianity, I am omnipotent. Call me Osiris, the god of the afterlife. I'm a transition to regeneration. And he's speaking some real conscientious stuff in there. You just gotta, you know, like slow it down and decipher it. Eminem, and when when he was doing it, I I think uh, a lot of people, you know, jumped on him because he was just saying like little elementary school type stuff within the within the song. Like he was just throwing stuff together. This dude was talking about Egyptian pyramids and surging this and uh, take dirt naps. Like he's putting like actual, I wouldn't say storyline, but he's you know. He's putting like, you know, little 10 word letter words in there every once in a while. Like it ain't like some elementary school type stuff. Kind of like if you listen to uh, JJ Fast Supersonic, you know, you know, they're just going nema, 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 nema. You know, this dude, he's actually like saying actual stuff. If y'all catch my drift. But anyways, I'm going to get back into the video. I like it so far. I like it. See, that's what I'm talking about. He is saying something, man. Like, he has a message within the song, man. Like, like I said, just go back and decipher it. You know, you might have to write it down word for word, man. But he's actually saying stuff in the song. That's what I'm liking about this so far. You know, he, it's not like he's throwing, you know, random stuff together. He's actually saying, like, meaningful words within his music. I actually, like, he's saying it fast, but he's saying, you know, some slick stuff at the same time. And you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, Toby Montgomery, man, for putting me on to this, man. Let me go ahead and finish it off. They never study the craft, man. He, he ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just get into this stuff. They don't know the history behind it. They don't know the science. You know, Grandmaster Flash said there was a science behind this stuff, man. He said, you don't, he don't care how you hip hop. Just as long as you understand that there was a history. This stuff had a past, you know what I'm saying? Like with any type of music, country music, jazz music, rock and roll music, uh, pop music, and you know, anything, any type of music in general has a past history. And if you don't study the craft, you know, you're just saying some... Of course, you can always feel that hip hop is uh, for you to, you know, speak uh, what's on your mind. It's for you to let, you know, let forth your emotions. But that's with any type of music, whether it be, like I said, rock and roll, jazz country classical you, you know what i'm saying but just understand the craft is what basically what he's saying you just you get into it and you don't understand the craft then it's going nowhere well i take that back nowadays you know you can just get into it and start saying some stuff and you can make millions overnight but 
you don't leave as much of an impact. Like I said, Nipsey Hussle or, you know, Tupac or Kendrick Lamar, you might make millions of dollars overnight, but it, it vanishes overnight. Easy come, easy go. You know what I'm saying? I see I see what he was doing. That's why I can I give that I give him props, man. He wasn't trying to go at Eminem, but he's saying, you know, he wanted to try to do something similar to what he was doing. I think that's always been the case with most rappers, man. Like back in the day you had like Melly Mel. You know, some people they wanted to, you know, try to mimic his uh style of, you know, speaking what's the word, man? Like speaking on, you know, current events, what's going on in the world. You know, there's been several people that try to do what Melly Mel's doing, and even nowadays, man, but you ain't really, it's kind of like you're not trying to match up with Melly Mel talking about the streets and, uh, you know, government stuff, like politics, you know, starving children. It's kind of like you you want to kind of get cl as close to it as possible, man, kind of like you want to mirror his image and, you know, kind of improve off of your own. And that's what I try to tell people. Don't try to be somebody, but, you know, don't be afraid to copy what they're doing temporarily until you can come up with your own strategies your own techniques your own special skills like uh like with the you know rich people man kind of like if you want to be rich if you want to make money watch what they do and i can tell you nine times out of ten they got rich because they weren't trying to be rich they were trying to be successful and you know somebody like myself i might try to follow somebody like um uh, Jeff Bezos, I'm not, you know, I'm not mirroring his image, but I understand, you know, he's rich, you know, he had a dream to make something happen, or, uh, what's the name, you know, like Jay-Z or Master P, if you want to get into hip-hop, you know, just watch what they did, they weren't really in it for the money at first, man, they just wanted to put the South on the map, Master P most definitely, he started his own business, he wanted to showcase his own talent, and his own talent, Instead of having rappers go into like these, uh, like Interscope and stuff like that. And, and, you know, nothing against Interscope, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and getting, you know, screwed over by somebody higher up in the, in the company, you know, he wanted to start his own, you know, music label, his own company, his own corporation. He wanted to be his own CEO. He wanted to, he wanted to be the CEO of his people. And that's what I tell y'all mirror other people. But anyways, back to the music, man, that was great. Uh, K-N, I, I kind of, like I said, I can't pronounce his name, K-A-A-N, man, he tried to cut, you know, get as close to Eminem as possible, man, he did a good job with it, as a matter of fact, I can almost uh, argue that it was almost better than Rap God, if not way better, it, like I said, he had deep meaning in his words, he wasn't just saying little alphabet rhymes, little kindergarten, preschool lyrics in his, uh, throughout his verses but you know what i'm saying I, I overall i liked it and i'm willing to listen to anything else that he's got so for right now man anything uh however you say this dude's name anything that y'all would like to hear from him please feel free to put it in the comment section anything in general that y'all would like to hear please feel free to put it in the comment section i'm off here for right now man i love y'all peace like comment subscribe to the channel i'm out